Good morning and welcome to today's devotion. Um, um, a couple of things about some plans moving forward before I get into today's uh, devotion. I do plan to post one for Saturday and then next week on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Um, and then we'll be moving um, into more of a, a Holy Week sort of post. And then after Easter, I think I might continue to do uh, weekly devotions, perhaps on Wednesday. Um, I am persuadable, plans could always change, but that's kind of my thinking at this point. Today's reading comes from the Gospel of Mark, uh, chapter 10, beginning with verse 32. They were on the road going up to Jerusalem, and Jesus was walking ahead of them. They were amazed, and those who followed were afraid. He took the twelve aside again and began to tell them what was to happen to him, saying, See, we are going up to Jerusalem, and the Son of Man will be handed over to the chief priests and the scribes, and they will condemn him to death. Then they will hand him over to the Gentiles. They will mock him and spit upon him and flog him and kill him. And after three days, he will rise again. So this group of disciples and um, almost certainly not only the 12, but some other followers who are kind of traveling together in a group, um, the closer they get to Jerusalem on this trip, the more that fear sets in. Because all of the disciples know the risk. This whole trip is a journey to a place of um, confronting authority. Um, Mark is very purposeful in, in setting it up this way. The journey to Jerusalem is bracketed by two recovery of sight stories, as if to say, open your eyes and see what discipleship is all of about. Jesus has all of these teachings and it's all on the way to Jerusalem, um, which is a place to challenge authorities, uh, both religious and worldly. Um, a modern comparison would be if uh, Jesus' public ministry were um, these days, um, Jesus would have a way of challenging the rulers of modern nation states and the heads of uh, various Christian religions and even others. Um, so it's a risky thing to try to do, and that's why all of these disciples are getting really fearful as they near Jerusalem, because um, it's pretty apparent that trouble uh, awaits there. The other day, Stephanie and I were on a bike ride um, on Katy Trail, and we were making our way, and we noticed a black snake in the middle of the trail, and we cautiously rode by it. I didn't even notice it until I was right up on it. It never moved. Um, it was so still, I wondered if it was actually alive. We rode up the trail for a few more miles and we turned around and as we came back, nearing the spot where we knew we saw the snake, uh, Stephanie says to me, Rocky, I'm going to let you go first. And I thought, well, what makes you think I want to go first? Um, and her condition was, if I don't go first, then she was going to go back up and then I could pick her up uh, with the car. Um, but it's that sort of anxiety that I think the disciples um, had as they followed Jesus. You know, he's up front and we'll go if he's leading. Uh, whatever happens, better it happen to him first than us. And he tells his disciples what he expects to happen to them. He says he's going to be handed over to the chief priests and the scribes or the religious authorities and they will condemn him, and they will hand him over to the Gentiles, the worldly authorities. And then he finishes by saying that he will rise on the third day. Our approach to Easter is definitely unique in several ways this year. I'm considering everything that's going on and that we are in the Lenten seasons, I think Lent... Um, our Lenten journey ought to remind us that we are challenged to think outside our ideological commitments about practical public policy, asking the question, how are we as a whole culture 
doing as far as caring for one another in this time of crisis and what changes need to be made. We're also challenged to think about how to be church, both how to use technology in new ways and how to maintain a readiness to respond to neighbors in our community when any kind of disaster arises. Whenever I hear or read someone saying that the church is irrelevant, um, I always think about uh, St. John's response to recent flood victims or the various needs arising in the current crisis. Even to what Easter Sunday is going to look like this year is different in many ways. Uh, we still do plan to have an Easter um, theme, Easter service on Easter Sunday, April 12th, um, even though we won't be able to meet in the sanctuary. At the same time, we're planning a full-blown Easter celebration on the Sunday that we gather once again in the sanctuary, whatever that Sunday happens to be, because I think that will finally be the uh, kind of mark for us the end of the current crisis and the end of our Lenten journey all at the same time. Our prayer for the day, Holy God, lead us as Jesus led his disciples to Jerusalem. Fill us with confidence in new life. Amen. All right, everybody, be safe and make a great day.